Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. That's over 21. How did I get that thing out of there? Zero, right? Zero. Put that in because I know that's over 21. What'd you do to your back? Set the hook on bass. Had my head turned wrong, I guess. And had a sharp pain come through my shoulder and my neck, and it dropped me to my knees. Are you gonna massage it for me later? Yeah. Okay. How are you gonna cast tomorrow? Mm, I might only be fishing with this. That's it, just one rod. We're at Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Bella, what time is it? Toyota Texas Fest. We were about 45 minutes from here, about a month ago, Toledo Bend. Had a good finish there, top five. So we're looking to improve on that this week. I re-injured his back last night. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, we thought we had it pretty loose and then we just decided it needed a little bit more. Oh boy. And then it got stiff again, so I don't know. Had a interesting practice. Caught a couple giants, like nine pounders. A couple sixes, sevens. So we caught some big ones. Sweet. But they're few and far between. The weather's changing, and the weather's changing not for the better. I actually didn't know that. I didn't realize it took me long. Oh, that's a giant, dude. Oh, gosh. I was not expecting that. Oh. Easy there, girl. Don't you jump again. Yeah, that's a bonus right there. Yes. Yes. Freaking Storm Rossi Top Walker. I didn't really know what to expect going into today. I had. A decent practice where I was getting at least one or two really big bites every day and it was kind of a pattern but kind of random and I just didn't know exactly when it was gonna come but kind of knew the areas and the stuff that I was getting them around but I had multiple patterns going on a deep and shallow pattern catching fish all the way from three foot to 30 foot and today obviously we had different weather conditions where practice, slick calm, sunny, and those fish really got grouped up where today kind of scattered out more. This morning I was able to take advantage of kind of the little bit sunnier, calm conditions that we had. So then I just ran around, uh, made some adjustments, caught deep fish, shallow fish. Champion from Rafael Mata, the prodigy Brandon Pollinick. So, Thunder had a very good day here, ladies and gentlemen. Our tournament leader ran over 25 pounds, 
Second place. How's that feel? Feels good. I figured that there would be some like 30s, 28s, high 20s, but that's got us sitting in second, right where we need to be. Who are you behind? Uh, Ayler, I think. I think Ayler's got 25. I'm excited. I was nervous all day because I had to tell you that he had fish all, all day. And then in the back of your head, there's a little spot that's like, ooh, what if reality strikes and he has no fish? Because it happens. Those aren't the good days. But that smile is worth it all. And what? And the eight pounder. Wow. We just got back to the trailer, day one. Sitting in second place, 24 pounds, seven ounces, anchored by an 8-4 behemoth fence panda, hydrilla gorilla, brush pile beauty. Don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Uh, I feel like the fish are moving a lot, deep and shallow, especially with the weather conditions changing. It's gonna be windy again tomorrow, it's gonna be cloudy again but it's supposed to break up and be a little bit sunnier in the afternoon, which should help that deep bite. He lost the front hooks. I'd really like for him too. Oh, that was Oh, missed it. Got him. Oh, that's a better one. on that right there probably or right here oh oh yeah it is it's like a seven pounder He's nice like a six or a five. You! Yeah! <laughs> he looks longer than that other one. Oh, oh yeah. Man, yeah. five, five seven. That other one was five eleven. This one's twenty two and a half inches. That's why I thought it was a seven pounder when it jumped, because it's so long. Oh, I just, sorry, I made a little marker. Oh, God. 
biggin. Four three, baby. Dude, that fish is pre spawn. It's pre spawn. Yeah. Well, we our morning started out really slow. We didn't get any big bites, just a bunch of one to two pounders. But we've kind of just slowly hopped around and upgraded, caught some fish in places we didn't haven't caught them yet this week. We've got almost 22 pounds. It's 11 o'clock. We don't have to check in till three, so we still got lots of time to make some big improvements. in that same tree. Nope, not yet. It's like a replay of yesterday in the same tree. Yesterday was an eight pounder. Yeah, it's still on there. Tree. Not looking good. Oh, dude, she just came, just came out. You gotta be kidding me. How did that thing come out? Yes! Patience, baby! Patience! Four, baby. Good job. It was a good day. Even though we did not have as much as yesterday. 24-7 yesterday. 23-2 today. Good news is, we closed the gap on Ayler. 
So he had about a pound on us yesterday. Now he's only got a two ounce lead. Today was the day I did not get the big bite that I've been getting. I've been getting a fish over eight pounds every day I've been here, but I had a better average. Felt like I caught more fish uh, and kind of dialed in where those bigger fish are wanting to be. Forty-seven pounds and nine ounces, and Brandon Pollock sitting in second place, uh, battling it out with Brent Ayler right now. <laughs> it's been really good. I didn't know how this week was going to go, and I'm pleasantly surprised with the way it's worked out. Today is the first day I've not caught a fish over eight pounds out of Rayburn, so I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Maybe finding, you know, one of those tundra fish. I'm looking to win a truck this week. Well, you keep catching like that, you might win a lot more than the truck. And just Thanks, fish good, relaxed lost some big ones again but i just came to the realization that the way that i'm catching them catching them on that spinning rod on light line i'm gonna lose some in that brush and those trees i caught some that i probably shouldn't have caught including that eight pounder yesterday and a four four today so i'm gonna win some i'm gonna lose some i just keep on casting and hope that every cast is an eight pounder Heart rate, 100,000. Come here, come here. Yeah! Woo! Bam! Again, giant. Oh gosh. Storm Arashi Top Walker. Don't you jump. I'll take a hook in for that one. Yeah! Woo! Look how long. Whoa, baby! She was going to town on that thing. I watched her eat it. That was so freaking cool. I don't know yet. Oh! Gosh, dang it. That was a four plus. Oh. That one not slack in it. That's a big one. Oh, that's a freaking giant. Oh my gosh. That's bigger than a five pounder right there. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. No! Broke off. That might have been a truck. Hard one to shake off, man. Oh, man. Should've just taken my time. Got two. Thought I had her when she got up close to the boat. Just made that last run. It's hard to come back from losing a 
eight or nine pounder, man. Lose a lose a four plus. I don't know how big that other one was. That one right there was over eight, maybe over nine. Leaving the door wide open for the rest of those guys. I'm not gonna forget about that one until Sunday. Or Monday morning. And I might not ever forget about it. Yep, that's a big one. He's mean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Four or five, baby. That was four fish, five casts. Found this spot yesterday. Actually, I found it four days ago. They weren't here till yesterday. What do you guys think he's gonna do? He's gonna win. He's gonna win. Hands down. He'll be all the way. What do you mean? What do I think? I know he's gonna win it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, I because I'm gonna I'm gonna wash his boat again tonight. Well, not tonight, because he's going to Nakanich tomorrow. But Saturday night, the boat's getting completely detailed. Yep, that'll help. Oh yeah. Right when I opened my freaking bail. Don't do that again. That's a little fatty. That's a little fatty. Rotate it just like that. So if you're super careful, a lot of times those fish will get hooked deep like that where she ate it on the fall. And if you're super careful, you can go behind their gill plate, get an angle on it, rotate it, and pop it out without causing them any harm. No hook in there. Three, eight. Three, eight it is. It's more like it healthy that fish is. I don't know what to think. I thought I was gonna have like a three pound lead, but Ayler weighed like 24 instead of 21. I guess he caught a really big one at the end. So it's gonna be a shootout Sunday. It's like me and Ayler by ounces, and then third place is like 10 pounds behind us or something. I'm kind of nervous for Sunday. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. The weather's gonna change again. I don't know if those fish are going to be there. I don't know if the local guys that watched me catch them today are going to pound on it tomorrow. I don't know. It's a lot of unknowns right now. And that's what makes me nervous is just not knowing. But we'll go do our deal on Sunday. 
hopefully execute 100%, and then see what happens. Your brave new leader, Brandon Polinick. Today was incredible. It was so much fun. I left them. I pray that the guys that watched me today don't go and beat on it tomorrow. We've got an off day tomorrow. I'm taking the high school guys out. It's going to be fun to go out there with them, kind of relax, get my mind off of it. Wait, wait a second. So you're leading this tournament. Mm -hmm. All this on the line, a classic birth, everything, and you're still donating your time to take a high school kid out tomorrow. Let's hear it for this guy. <laughs> I mean, how crazy is that? Wow. Good job, man. You too. Caught you a giant at the end. Yeah, six pounder. You I'm dying, dirty but... sucker. Oh boy. I was like, oh yes, yeah, so a, a little I, bit I, of a lead. Dude, I, haven't, I haven't checked the spot yet. I pulled up. They were there. I, mean, I caught one and left. I mean, that makes you dangerous. Yeah, that's, that's what's crazy. Is that you see this thing? Dude, I heard you lost a big one. Ba way bigger than what I had the first day. Like, I don't. Serious? I think it was like nine or something. No way. Dude, that's insane. That sucks, man. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh shit. Oh my goodness. What do you do, you know? Tomorrow's an off day. We're taking the high school kids fishing. They're trying to win two derbies. I'm worried about tomorrow now. Nah, I worry about getting the bite first and worry about getting them out the second. When you start like trying to go through this stuff, you have to like start pushing all those trees out of the way. Is that how you got into it with your dad? Yeah, three or four years old, I would go with my dad and my grandpa during the summer. I thought the creek channel is over there. It's actually right here. You can see it on the 360. It's like it's about to rain. Yeah, it does. Thinks he's gonna rain for a while, Chief. Oh! Did you see that? Yeah, pitch back in there. How big was that? Oh, no. It sounded massive. Giant. Oh, he's not a giant, giant, but he's. He's way bigger than a two pounder. Oh, 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 I don't know how I'm gonna grab him. Just like that, just like that, buddy. Nux. <laughs> that is a, ah, oh, that thing's fat. Oh, Had yeah. an absolute blast fishing out there with Oakley Connor, kid out of South Carolina. He's one of the 12 high school All-Americans selected by BASS. And we actually ended up winning the Derby. Two fish limit, 12 pounds, three ounces. He caught the big one. I had a 514, he had a 6.5 largemouth. And we wrecked him. He's been easy there. Hey, good morning. Good morning, how are today with the lead and is hoping to hold on to it. We know he does not have one over nine months. He is a two-time Elite Series and champion, a former Bass Nation National Champion. For Brock from Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. No, he's just in the brush pile. Oh, yep, that's big. Woo! It's more like it right there. 312. That's closer. Swim that way. Four. Look at him. See how long he was sitting there? It's the final day of a Bassmaster Elite Series event. It's actually Bass Fest in Lufkin, Texas, on Sam Rayburn. And it's always exciting to be 
fishing on the fourth day in the top 12. But when you're in contention to win, and he doesn't act like he's in contention to win, it's really eerie feeling. So Brandon is currently leading from what we can tell via Fast Track on Bassmaster.com. At 2.30, Brent Aylor caught a fish right around six pounds and took the lead in this tournament unofficially. It was so tight, it never got reported on Bass Track. Oh gosh. Oh, it was in the brush pile. Oh, it's huge. Oh gosh, that's it right there, baby. Stay on there. I'm coming right there, man. That's her. Easy. Easy girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Dude, my heart is pumping so bad. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, dude. That's what I'm talking about right there! Yeah. 236, man! Oh, brother, look at that! Look at that! 236! I can't even unhook that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five. Fifteen. 515, baby. There's our six pounder. Oh. Woo, I'm sorry, man. I can't help it. We're headed to go see the verdict of the week. Um, I'm a nervous mess. I'm a wreck, man. I don't talk about the ultimate highs and lows, places that I'd been catching them really good, they just weren't really there. I heard. Cut a six pounder at 236 off a brush pile that I'd never fished. Think How much be, was it? gonna be short though. How much was the total? 21.12. It was really tough. Really, really tough. Did you lose a lot? No, I executed really well. So I can't be that upset. I'll tell you, I'm so, dang nervous, I just put a spinning rod, rod jacket on a bait caster. Talk about a stressful. I was stressed out. <laughs> God. Hey, I'm Brent Ayler. I'm behind the stage right now, about ready to weigh in here at uh, Sam Rayburn. I'm uh, right behind Brandon in the standings yesterday and a uh, little fish catching fool. I hope I got enough. Well, I don't think I do, but if not, Congrats to Brandon. He's a great fisherman. Well deserved. It was pretty tough. In fact, I only had about 12 pounds around uh, 1, 130. The sun popped out and I smashed them in the last hour. This big one I caught about, I don't know, 30 minutes before weigh-ins. Him and Brandon had a pretty incredible lead in the rest of the field. All he needs is 12 pounds and 2 ounces to take the lead. 19 pounds and 14 ounces! I mean, it's very well documented, both your, you guys on the water as anglers, but I'm gonna tell you, I'll attest for it. As human beings, these two are truly two of the best that we have on tour. Your Tundra Big Bass champion, Brent Ayler, for the second time in event history. He, drives he is a two-time Elite Series at champion, a former Bass Nation national champion from Raptor, Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. <laughs> So much on the line here. You've won two Elite Series events and uh, you set a goal at the beginning of your- I told myself, like you said, every two to three years, I'd love to win an Elite Series event. It's been four years. And I'd like to ask Brent Ayler to come on over side by side. One way or another, we are gonna have an incredible champion. Brandon Polnick started the day with 72 pounds. 72 pounds even. Hold on, I'm thirsty. What, we don't have commercial breaks? I can't pull a Ryan Seacrest, don't worry. 
72 pounds even at the start of today. He's got five fish. Looking for 19 pounds and 13 ounces. Hit it. 21 pounds and 12 ounces. 21, 12, and Polonix pummels him on Championship Sunday. Your 2017 Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest Champion, Brandon Polonix. The Prodigy becomes a three-time Bassmaster Elite Series Champion and rolls out of town with $100,000 and a guaranteed Geico Bassmaster Classic Berth. I'm so proud. I've, I've seen a lot of the lows and I've seen a lot of the highs through a computer screen, so I'm so proud of it. So proud and we're all so proud of you guys. I have to say huge thanks to my family, my friends, especially Tiff. This is the first one she's got to be here for. And that was kind of a big motivation to win this week. I'm like, finally I have a shot, and she's here. It's time to make it happen. How you do? Yeah. You're going to be able to fit for some smallmouth however you want for the rest of the season, dude. Dude, yeah, I haven't thought about that. Yeah. How crazy is that? Uh, Crazy. You won all the trophies this week. Yeah. Took them all. Crazy. Kept the freaking truck. I'll give it. I'll give it. <laughs> I don't. He deserves the truck. I don't feel as bad as he did. Nice, dude. Can't believe we pulled that off. Good work. Two thirty-six. You're ridiculous. <laughs> good job. Awesome. Thanks, you too. Uh, that's how you know he's a good dude.